All right, good afternoon, my people. So what we're doing here, we're installing a Eco B4 thermostat. In the house, changing a regular thermostat for Eco B. So everything that comes with it, you got your thermostat, you got your, your room temperature sensor, your mounting kit and everything. So you can mount the thermostat without this. Oh, my back. You can mount the thermostat without the back plate. You can just literally just put the this piece on there. But it depends. It's up to you what you want to use. Um, I'm going to mount it with everything. That way the customer knows that all the parts were used because I didn't ask. So do that. And then basically this comes with a, the eco becomes with a power extender, not like the Nest. This comes with a power extender. This is for in case you don't have common like we have here. Here, we don't have a common. Basically, all we have here is a RC, R, RC, we have the R, which is two, basically two powers. And you have your Y for your AC, you have your W for your heat, and your green. And basically what they did here, the black and blue here are wired together for some reason. So we don't want to mess with that. If that's, you know, that was like that. We don't want to mess with it. So we're going to do it. How uh, Ecobee recommends that you don't have a, a common because basically there was no common here. So we're not gonna put a common on splice anything, basically mess it up or anything like that. We're gonna do it how Ecobee says there's no common there. Instructions say no common, follow the steps. So basically, this comes with a power extender, which the leads have the yellow for your AC, the gray for your heat, the green for your fan, your blue. For your common, there's a common slot in the inside of the furnace itself, and there's a red for your power. Basically, basic. This is this is the wires that we have there in the in the furnace. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna install that. We're gonna install this power extender, so we don't have to worry about the eco. Basically, having to unsplice any wires and mess up the sequence of how it is. So let's do this. What you're gonna see here, basically, that's how your furnace looks. It has all these wires and everything like that. So we got green, red, uh, R, G, R, Y, W, and C for common. Um, so basically we're gonna, you'll see how it's gonna be before I finish. So I'll put you down for a second. Basically, these things are easy to do. They're not hard, hard at all. Something like to worry about. Basically, you, just, you always want to find out where the um, the powers are. Always. I'm gonna look at the instructions real quick and I'll be right back. Um, gotta get, I gotta get uh, the picture of basically how the wires look from up there. I'll be right back. All right, my people, I'm back. So I'm gonna start taking this thing apart. So we don't have to spend too much time on this. So just follow the directions that it says on here.
So, plans backfired. Uh, there's too many wires here to even mess with it. What I'm gonna do, I just noticed here they have an extra wire. A red wire just hanging there. Basically, we're gonna use it. We're gonna go ahead and use it for our blue. For our common. So that's gonna be our that's gonna be our common. It's red wire. Um I'm gonna leave everything the way it is. Everything the way it is in there, and then basically we're just gonna use that extra wire that's hanging there. Use it for a common. Common is basically just 24 volts that the put the machine has in there. Basically, that's gonna power 24/7 your thermostat. This uh, smart thermostat always need a 24 volts, it's like, which is common. On uh, the thermostat is a C, but here it's lab, uh, labeled. You see it right here. It's labeled 24 volts, common. So we're gonna use that. And there's this red wire here that was coil right there that I missed. I only coil it. Basically, we're gonna split it and we're gonna use it. We're gonna use it for our common. These things are easy to do. Uh, if you wanna do it at home, clearly all you have to do is turn the breaker off for the outdoor indoor unit. You never know um, what can happen. So you always wanna put the, uh, turn the thermostat off, these things. Uh, turn, turn the uh, breakers, both breakers, furnace and AC. Breakers off because you never know. HVAC systems are weird sometimes. Sometimes it's power on by on its own. Is that that's a, you know, just prevent it from anything happening, burning anything, anything like that. Always for thermostats and things like that, you always want to buy one of this little small flatheads for tight areas and things like that. So right here, I broke my 11 and one. This is a very good tool for in-home, 11 and one. It's hard to see because it's like going up, but you can see it right there, 11 and one. Maybe it comes with two different types of Phillips, two different types of flatheads. Comes with two different hex, you got a little little one and bigger one, and the other side has star, like star uh, star looking things and everything like that. It's a good you a tool. I use that much twenty four seven. It's like my it's like my homie at work. Eleven and one. So good. These HVAC systems are so sensitive. Like anything touches metal or anything like that, it like burns. Like right. your transformer or it burns like a fuse. Really, like if you if you if you got a if you install a nest, this is an eco bee, but if you install a nest. Or like a smart system like this and it gives you like the rc has no power first make sure if you have a disconnect that like basically you pull it out the disconnect that you pull out make sure this pushed all the way in or come on down here and this thing's about fuse of anything like literally the tiniest thing burns it like a car fuse right there it's right there burns it out of nowhere so always watch out for that um so so far so good Put everything together now. Just make sure everything's properly tightened. Tighten. All right, so far so good. All right. Make sure this wiring is properly turned. All right. So good thing. We didn't, do that. we didn't have to do so much extra work installing this thing. I know this thing's gonna be a pain in the butt, but guess what? We have an extra wire. So it's so another thing. If you have an extra wire in, in there and you don't have a common, use it. Not that, there's nothing that says you can't do it. 
just with a little uh, HVAC expertise, you can do it. You can literally, if you have an extra wire there, run as you're coming, you can do that. But now, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna put this furnace back together. Like people, do your HVAC maintenance. Like, look at this. System's like super old. Things like that. What was your, your HVAC maintenance? Trying to see what year is this thing. If I'm not wrong. It's a 1998 system. Your HVAC is required to be changed probably every 20 years. You know, if you do proper maintenance, you get to last way longer. But if you don't, proper to replace it every every 20 if you're if you're if you're those kind of people that you know don't want to do their maintenance as a year minimum maintenance do it on HVAC at least once once a year keeps it from um, failing parts failing and things like that put it down for a second so I can put this uh doors back on these panels do it once We're gonna put the screw back in there, keep the door from falling off, and things like that. But so far, so good, ladies and gentlemen. Um, everything's coming in good. Basically, we go up there and we basically start doing the the other stuff. Basically, just uh, what has to do with um, putting the thermostat on the wall now. So now that we got the wiring uh, down, so now what you want to do is you got the wiring in the HVAC system good. Because if you have a common, you should, you, should, you wouldn't be going through this much steps because you will know as soon as you get into there as you take the back plate off. But basically now we're gonna, we're gonna take the, we're gonna take the old, the old one out and basically start installing the new one. wire that much work really it's easy easy work I think for this one I'm gonna use the big plate so I can cover these holes most customers don't like holes showing on their on their walls after the old thermos is taken out because then they're gonna ask us to come back and patch it Basically, I'm gonna, gonna be nice enough and I'm gonna do it. Like right here, these holes are a no go. Customers hate those things. So, once we put this thing on there, see, covers it up. So, that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna install this, this mounting plate like that. So, we get our, our red wire out of there because we need it. Um, this wire is over right here. I'm gonna hide it back where it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is thermostat is easy, super easy. Don't let anybody tell you, uh, tell you less. Literally, it's super easy. Um, there's no way nobody, somebody can, cannot install thermostat. This is a piece of cake. Use the level. Like every Nest and it could be thermostats, uh, smart thermostats come with a level. One day you see it like right in the center. All you have to do is level, uh, label it, level it. See how good mine is? In the center. Level it, mark it, do your holes, and get it going. Um, you can get some uh, gravel screws. Gravel screws are really good for this because they hold down really good. What we're gonna do? Hold down, but not. Put it back up.
we we'll put in the second screw. So as we do that, basically start basically putting the wires on the terminals. Basically after that, we'll put the terminal set on, turn the breaker on and see how it does. For the tennis that wire, you don't even need a wire splitters. You literally do it with your finger. It's still like this, like this thermal cover on them. It's so sensitive on that. It breaks easily. So if you use your nails, it's better. Okay, so you strip it back. Wire strippers, necessary. So if you don't have one at home, don't worry about it. So basically, now that's how your new one looks. Right there. Old one, new one. So now basically you gotta put start putting all those wires on there. Same way we took them out. Should be good to go. Let me do this real quick. Watch me while I do it. Basically, shows you here which is which. So now, since I shows in the um, stuff that he's to take a picture, of, show you take a picture of the wire. You see, like if you follow the instructions, it shows you everything. So it is, it's like plug and play. Except if you don't have the common wire, go to the pan. Uh, go to the HVAC unit. Most of the time, if, if the HVAC tech install it properly, they will always leave an extra wire there. Even if they don't use a common, you always leave the extra wires in there, don't even cut them, just like, basically just uh, wrap them again, uh, around the thermostat wire. That way there's extra wires sitting there just in case you need it. So, which is basically what I, uh, will happen. We have an extra wire in there. We're gonna use mostly, um, in your in your HVAC, this is a little older model. When you're in your in your new HVAC system nowadays, model houses, you have your green for your fan, your yellow for your AC, your white for your heat. Um, if you have a heat pump or something like that, it would be uh, orange or brown. You have your red for power and you have your blue for common. But in this situation, like all the wires, you got purple for power, you got white for AC, you got green for fan, which is good. Then you got your W, yellow for W uh, for heat. And then you have another power, which is RC or RH. You got two powers here. And then now you got to have your red for, for common, which is okay. So, so this is right here, we're gonna read the instructions. And the instructions. We're disconnected. Just mount the bracket. RC. RC You got RH Okay, you Y for AC You can just go down the line It's easy
All right. All right, my people. Easy as that. So, you got powers, you got fan, AC, heat, and common. I'll show you how it looks now. That's how it looks after it's done. Simple as that. So now, you know, keep following the instructions. So it gives a, give a little toggle in each, make sure they're not allowed to come out. All good so far. There's a little toggle. Make sure none of them come out of the uh, place. This one, is, this one needs a little bit more pushed in. Heat. So far, so good. All right, my people. So far, so good. All right, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna follow it up. Just give it a little tug. So carefully push your asses back on. Gently push it back on. See this right here. Gently gonna put it on there. Now it's a clip. So you just take these extra stuff from there. Then once you put it, just turn the breaker back on. Easy as that. So now we gotta go downstairs. We gotta turn the breaker on. So turn the breakers back on. Once you turn the breakers on, go back upstairs. Check how it's working. Got two more jobs to do. One by one, not two. So, now. Hi, it could be. Hi, Ikobi. Hi, Ikobi. You know what? I'm getting on power right now. So we're gonna go double check downstairs. Make sure the furnace is on. Furniture is on. The furnace is on. It's on. And go back over here. Just like this is what comes after. Hi, Ecobe. All right, my people, I'm back. Um, so what's going on is that um, my comment on the board, this is such an old system, 1998. That's over 20 years old. It looks like it hasn't been maintenance properly. It's giving us problems. So what I did was I had to look for 24 volts to get power to that common to be able to turn that thermostat back on. So thermostat's on. I'm going through the settings and everything like that, how to set it. So basically, same as we're in the United States, you know, use Fahrenheit. You know, if you're in Europe or some other uh, countries, you can set up to Celsius, but we're gonna go to Fahrenheit. Uh, this is a furnace. They ask you furnace or boiler. 
has your furnace or boiler. It has a furnace. How do you want your fan to be controlled? So, you're gonna assume that you want the fan to be controlled by the thermostat. Then you put auto and things like that. Name your Ecobee, you can choose whatever. So we're gonna choose my Ecobee, whatever. So we're gonna skip the Wi-Fi setup because this is where the customer has to do it. This, so you can use the app and control it with his phone and everything like that. So that's, we're gonna let, are we gonna guide him through that? United States. So basically, you just go through all the settings and things like that. Just follow what it says. So New York, visit the East. What time is it? So it's military time for me. It's fourteen twelve. We're gonna put two o'clock. Two twelve in the afternoon. What day is today? Today is February the twenty first. So you basically just do, just go through all the settings. Don't have to do with doing that. Twenty twenty. Finish. See what it does. It's calibrating. And I'm holding here color disabled because it's calibrating. So we're hitting. Heat, raise this to 72 degrees. And I was calibrating, so right here is the temperature you set it on. Here is the temperature that your home, your home, your home is current on. So, so far, that's how you install it. Ecobee, if you have any questions or anything like that, hit the comments below, hit the thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and y'all have a great day. Take care. Happy Friday.